Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoy the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your love and support. Today I'm just going to do a little flip through of my September setup to show you how I am planning for this month. And first, just to kind of give you a little bit of background because I have a lot of new subscribers. I have always been a planner. Um, for many years, I used you know, three wing, three ring binders and spiral notebooks because I never really found a planner that worked for me. I hate writing in the middle of the page where like the binding is and stuff like that. So, you know, I just kind of did my own thing. And then at the end of 2017, I was Black Friday shopping and I had been seeing these ads in Michael's, in the Michael's ads for happy planners. And so I clicked on it and <laughs> the rest is history but um i then i basically picked out my first happy planner because i was so happy oh a planner where you can take the pages out and put them back in you can add stuff in you can completely customize it however you want to and i thought oh this is finally something that's going to work for me and then i discovered the whole world of decorative planning and that just you know I loved it. I fell in love. And even I, my first planner didn't start until 2018, but the whole month of December, I was taking just, you know, pieces of, you know, just a piece of paper and doing a weekly spread, you know, just to be doing it with the, you know, like five rolls of washi that I owned back then. <laughs> it was now like three or 400 rolls of washi now. But anyway, that's how I got started with the happy planner. And I, I love them. I absolutely love them. I would never, I, I don't think I've, I will always be in a disc bound planner since the happy planner because it's so easy and so customizable and pretty. They make them really pretty. So let's get started. I, this is my Franken planner and what Franken planning is, is basically where you take a whole bunch of different pieces from other planners and make your own planner. So I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, actually six <laughs> pieces of six different planners in here. And I'll just kind of explain it as you go, as we go along. Um, this cover was actually a happy notes that I got from Joann's, which was the wrong, wrong, um, collaboration. And so I have the cover and then I also have the dividers and the the filler paper that came with this in this planner but I didn't want to buy a wrong wrong planner because you pretty much it, they're harder to decorate because unless you have the sticker books but I really wanted this cover I love this cover and this is all about what I am babes support babes we have to support each other because nobody else will so let's get to the flip through um, first in here I just have my sticky notes and then this was a printable, but I can't remember where I downloaded it from. I'll have to find that and put it down in the comments. And then this was filler paper that I bought to go with this planner. I think I did a video a while back showing how I put it together. But that's the filler paper. And it's pretty pretty. And then a folder. And then we'll get into September. And this is the catch-all. And it is basically, uh, it's the dashboard layout extension and I basically just kind of put everything football games prescription reminders doctor's appointments just whatever we have going on and then I have basically you know I, I use it errands you know grocery list bills to pay this week calls and emails to make you know to-do lists and then kind of each day I might write down a few little to-dos or a decorate or something as it goes along. And I'll probably do like an after the pen and post on my Instagram at the end of the week. And next week I haven't done yet. I've got October in here, but I haven't numbered anything yet. And then this is my budget planner. And this is one of the extensions, the Happy Planner extension. And I actually found it at Walmart. And it was like eight dollars I think and then it because it um at Michael's I think it's like 10 or 12 or something but it was less at Walmart and I was really surprised to find it there and then this is the folder that came with it and I just have 
stickers and stuff in there, and then more stickers I've collected from all the different um, budget extensions that I've bought over the last couple of years. And this is my September bill pay calendar. And then my bill pay checklist. I have like the automatic payments that automatically come out over here. And then these are the ones that I have to actually physically pay. I haven't spent any money yet this month, which is awesome. So these are blank right now. And then we go into my office planner, which is the No Drama Llama planner. I'll show it. It's this one right here. And it is the monthly dashboard layout. I don't do much with this, but I think I'm just going to kind of write maybe some little memories on each day. And then I have all of my trackers and just all of my weekly to-dos and um, a place to write down some ideas for next month as far as YouTube and Instagram. And then just, you know, some to-do lists and things. And then over here, I'm going to use these as like my video checklists so I don't forget to do something. <laughs> So I think that's what I'm going to do with these pages. And then we'll go into my social media planner, which is the Socialite, which is perfect for social media planning, I, I think, because it's the block layout. And this calendar, I write what I post each day and put like my numbers on here. And then I've been using these uh, filler, the social media filler paper that Happy Planner is selling. I found them at Michael's to kind of plan things out. And then this is my weekly. And this is, I kind of did this one right here for like the whole month. Like this is what I want to post like on each day. And then this one, because I only have Instagram and YouTube right now, I'm going to do two weeks on each one. And then I haven't really filled these out yet. And this is the rest of the week. And then we go into my household planner, which is the Vintage Botanicals. Where's it at? Oh, it is over here. Okay. This one right here. Um, it's an 18-month planner, so you could probably still find it at Hobby Lobby. And, I mean, still use it because it's got all of 2020 in it. So. You might find it on uh, clearance, too. That'd be a good thing. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a few weeks, so I don't know what's on clearance yet. So anyway, this is September in it. I don't really know what to do with the calendar pages. It's so pretty, I don't want to mess it up <laughs> with a whole bunch of writing. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with those yet. And then this is just all of my household to-dos and checklists and habit trackers and then I just kind of put like daily stuff you know kind of little reminders of things I need to do those days I numbered the whole thing and I don't have any notes yet and I keep my currently pages for the next month in so I can jot down things that I need to remember for the next month because I don't, I don't really like keeping them in the current month in here because then you've got like the last page of another um, month. And I don't know, it just looks funny. It doesn't flow. So I changed it and started doing it this way. Okay, so here's September and this is my wellness calendar. And I posted a plan with me on this to kind of show you how I'm doing it and what I use it for. And then I'm not going to use the weeklies out of this. This was the um, Empowered Woman, which has the, let me flip here and show you. It has the lined layout. And there's been some months that I've used it and some months that I haven't. And I mean, if there's a week that I want to use it, then I just pop it in my catch all or whatever. I like having all the different layouts because I might want to change it up from week to week. And then I have, this is a habit tracker that I printed out from the Petite Planner. She has all kinds of really, really cute printables. You should go check out her blog. And then this is uh, the section out of the journaling planner that I just bought and just started. This is filler paper that I bought to go in it. It didn't come with it, but it came with, it's got four months worth of guided journaling in it. I'm not going to 
probably not going to write in it every day because it's kind of a lot of writing. So I'm just going to kind of do a little bit every day. The only thing I've done so far is just kind of filled out the weekly page a little bit. I'm going to add to it throughout the week. And I might go ahead and fill one of these out tonight. We'll see. But these are the, the guided date ones. And there's one for each day of the week. And then it goes into the next week. And then I have some of the filler paper in here if I want to make some, do some extra journal entries. And then back here, the last section is from this big, huge 18-month planner that's about to be ending at the end of this year. And you see it's really thick. <laughs> and I'm using it for just some stuff I'm keeping up with for my husband. I'm not going to go into that because that's his business. <laughs> so anyway, that's just some kind of stuff I'm keeping up for him keeping up with for him. God, I can't talk this morning. And then this is my notes section. I just kind of write, you know, I have different different notes that I've taken. And then this is my list section. I can't really flip through it because I've got some addresses and things like that in here. That I'm sure people wouldn't want me advertising to the whole world. And that's that section. And then this was the last divider that came in this happy notes. And I love this. I think it matches. That matches the back cover so, like, perfectly. So pretty if I take that filler paper out. So anyway, that is the, the catch-all Franken planner. It pretty much stays sitting on my desk. And I have a Happy Nietzsche that I've been keeping in my purse, but I don't, I haven't done anything with it lately. So I'm not going to show it because it really doesn't have anything in it to show. This one, I bought this little planner at Walmart, and the only thing I'm using it for is just to track um, certain things. Like, I wanted to see how long the 12-pound dog food is going to last, how long this big, you know, $12 package of toilet paper is going to last, things like that. So, that's why I kind of started, and it's not decorated. I did throw some washi down for September. But like you can see, put dog food, and toilet paper, and then on the weeklies I put the details like where I bought it from and how much it was, and like when I finish it and when I've ordered new ones, and like for August dog food, dog food. I'm going to track other things in here, not just dog food and toilet paper. I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> And so we're getting a full flip through this, but I had a viewer that wanted to see the mini, so I'm gonna get to show you this one real quick. And dog food again. We buy a lot of dog food. And September, I haven't gotten anything down yet, but I did put some washi down, <laughs> decorated a little bit. And which, by the way, the $12 package of toilet paper, we are finally on the last roll. So, we were spending $2 a week on toilet paper. So, that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 weeks. So, if we had just been buying regular toilet paper, it had been like $18 versus $12. So, yeah, it's a better deal. So, anyway, that's, that's kind of what I've been tracking in these. And just a little tip as far as grocery shopping. Sometimes when you buy in bulk, it's not always a better deal. And one way you can see that in the grocery store without having to do a bunch of math in your head, on the tags on the shelf where it has the price of the item, right beside it in smaller lettering is going to be the unit price for that item. So you can compare the unit price for like the 12 ounce, whatever it is, versus the 24 ounce. And you will find there's a lot of times where it's not always a better deal to buy in bulk. So just keep an eye on that when you're buying those sort of things. And that's why I started this planner because I wanted to kind of track little things like that. So I can save us some money on groceries. So that is it guys. That's all the planners that I am using for September. So we'll have another flip through in October when I'm sure I will change everything up once again. <laughs> so um, let's see. I think probably maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll be posting my intro to my series, uh, Decorative Planning on a Budget. 
and I'll get that intro posted and get those going this month so I can share that information with you. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or DM me if you want to keep it in private. I try to answer everything within 24 hours. You can also find me on Instagram. The link is below in the description or on my channel page. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. And that's all I have for now, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.